What's up, guys? It's Zedam. This is episode 13 of the FIFA 22 Creator Club career mode with Zilla FC. And last episode was actually really, really good for us because we won almost all our matches, if I'm not wrong. And more importantly, we beat Manchester United, we beat Chelsea. It was Chelsea in the last episode. I can't remember, but we most definitely beat Manchester United in the last episode. And we are actually one step closer to getting to that top four. But before we advance in this episode, we are going to have to face Bristol City first. And I mean, it shouldn't really be a problem for us. We obviously are supposed to win this match, and we do. Rivera scores a, a hat trick, and Gravenberg scores the last goal. All right, so our next match is against West Bromwich Albion. And Spurs and Wolves actually have a game at hand against me. And if I play this match, that means I'm going to have 28 games played. So they would have like uh, two matches at hand, but then they're also going to play this coming match. This coming matches, so it just means that they have a game at hand basically, and that is actually bad. So that means that if they win the two games they have, then they're going to be six points ahead of me instead of three. So we just have to keep winning in order to make sure one of them slip up and we can just easily get into that top four because that's what I'm gunning for in this episode. For the youth players that came in this week, this month rather, there's this guy that I like because his potential falls in between my range. This guy, I'm not getting him for anything. And none of them are really of any interest to me. Let's check out the ones that have come from England none okay there's this guy but his overall is pretty is really really low so uh i mean his potential is okay but his overall is really low so i'm not even going to bother with that yeah this guy his potential is below 70 there's a chance he can be below 70 but then there's also a chance he could reach 91 and his overall is pretty okay so i guess I have no problem going for that guy. Or am I going to sim past the the Crystal Palace match to this match against Spurs? But I think there should be an FA Cup match that comes in pretty soon. So yeah, so we actually do win against Crystal Palace. So up next is Crystal Palace as well, and I'm just going to sim past that match again to get to this Everton match, and we win Crystal Palace again. So. I think we're in the semi-finals of the FA Cup now. Okay, so Wolves actually drew their second match. So they're not six points ahead of me anymore. And Spurs is still yet to play a match. And I think this match against Brighton away from home. And I just hope that Brighton can actually hold them out here. So for this match against Everton, I'm going to be simming it with the entire team. And if anything goes wrong in the match, I'm just going to have to jump in, in the second half to fix the problems. Okay, so I don't even know how how that happened. Like they, like they were giving up the position so easily, especially Davies on that wing. Like, what the hell was that all about? All right, so we're able to equalize. Logan Devo scores for us, and I mean, there's still a chance that we can actually still come back and win this match because we're at home. So we just have to not give up position in weird, stupid areas, and I mean, we should be fine. Yes, and we're able to get our second goal from Karim Zaid. And I wasn't even looking, but I just saw him score. I have no idea how he scored, but I'm really happy that he scored. So, there's that. Alright, so we're able to get the third goal from Jadon Rivera. And now we are finally able to breathe. But we have some breathing room now. So, let's see if we can actually hold this win. Hold this lead, rather. And try and get three points in this match okay so that is the end of the match we're able to win everton 3-1 and this interactive seems actually really really handy in fifa 22 to be honest like i actually like how it's going good news is wolves drew their second match so it means that they are just two points ahead of us so we just have to be careful and play 
like our lives depend on it because we have to get into that top two sorry the top four spot all right so the next match is up against west ham and we have to we absolutely have to win this match i'm not going to be um, using the interactive sim because of time and let's just hope that we're able to get this win and we do we actually just barely win this match gravin birch is the one that got the goal early on in the 18th minute and before we do anything something really really good actually just happened wolves lost their match so they dropped three points and now we are on the same points as them and we have a game at hand so if we are able to win this match against whatever team is next that is liverpool all right so the first match we're going to be playing this episode is against liverpool and <laughs> okay their their front three is a bit fatigued because they're probably um having um a lot of matches because of the champions league and stuff and we actually we absolutely have to win them in this match we absolutely have to win them i know they're fighting for a top spot with manchester city because i think they're just four points apart and they will be dying to win this match but we can't let them because we have to get this top four finish we have to go ahead of wolves by three points so we can actually have a little bit of breathing space and let's just hope that we can get this win Liverpool against the Blades. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Explosive attacking qualities can be so important. Look no further than Mo Salah. Well, he's certainly been a constant threat this season with his goals. At times, he's been absolutely outstanding, and he will need to be tightly marked today. Otherwise, he could cause a major problem to them. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. It's played. So Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, a good tackle. Being pressed and pressed high. Kamavinga. And taking it away. Having won the ball back, they might be able... Can he get them in front? And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Well, big news I'm hearing. A penalty has been awarded in one of the other games. Alex Scott with the details. Yep, it was a penalty for Crystal Palace. And the technique was just all wrong. With this could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for it. Mane, not messing around with that clearance. And breaking at pace with Menace. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Can he put them in front? And he's kept it out, fully stretched. Somehow. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Alfonso Davies. Devoe. Kamavinga. Zaid. Tremendous ball played through. And he's in the clear. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. Number 10, Sadio Mane, to be replaced by number 20. Oh, is he going to be punished here? How about this for drama? All even once more. Astonishing.
Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. So, underway again at 2 all. What a shame, really, because the move was promising, but no end. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, let's take another look, and it's a technique that we don't see enough of, using the outside of the boot, and on this occasion, to great effect. What a goal that is. Excitement, five minutes left, and the margin just one. Liverpool's sloppy in possession. Oh, good vision. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. Danger now. Yes. Committed challenge. He's got to score! Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Who can he pick out? And a corner there that really lacked guile. And he's through here. Can he convert? In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but really the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. Great team goal, but woeful defending. And that is that, the referee blows his whistle. Alright, so we have defeated Liverpool 5-2 when they equalised, and it was completely my fault that they equalised. Like, that was a very dumb move as a back that I did there. But a blessing in disguise came, Zaid. That is the blessing in disguise. He literally saved us with that amazing free kick. Like, what was that? That free kick was so crazy. Like, I just tried it because like I've been I've been practicing that free kick and I, I was like okay should I do this right now or should I not do it right now and then I tried it and then it actually came off and wow I mean that's just the craziest free kick, ever, free kick I've ever scored all right so the crazy thing is that we are now we are now in the third position we're 10 points behind Manchester United and we are drawn on points with Wolves with one game to spare and so is Spurs. Spurs is like uh, at the fifth position right now, and they're below Wolves. But then, if they win their next match against who exactly? Against against Crystal Palace, then they're going to be back in the top four. And as for Wolves, I mean, they're sticking to me like glue right now, and it's really annoying. All right, so we're going to send past the Brighton match to the Spurs match, and then. We're going to be playing the semi-finals of the FA Cup in Liverpool, and that's where I'll end the episode. All right, we're able to get the win against Brighton, obviously. A 3-0 win, very convincing. And as for the league table right now, Spurs did lose that match against uh, Crystal Palace, I think. And they are now with a chance to get back at Wolves. Chill, if Wolves win their match, they're going to be drawn on points with me, but then we're actually a one game ahead. So that is very, very, very... Um, comforting and then if Spurs win then they're going to go ahead of Wolves but I really can't do that because I have to get to that 65 points to get myself clear of Wolves 
no changes to the lineup. I have to absolutely make sure that we repeat our victory against Spurs in the very first match of the Premier League. And, well, if we do, I, I, I will be really happy. But if we don't, there isn't that much of a consequence. But we still have to win this match. For analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's the Blades up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And so the battle commences. Being pressed hard. Well, we're very much at the business end of the season. And for these two sides, always important to be vying for a Champions League spot. Real chance! Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. That's it. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That... And he did well to cut it out. Dangerous-looking attack. Giving it a try. Well, what a stop that was! Ryan Grafenberg. The Blades have the ball once more. And a quick reminder, we have FA Cup semi-final action for you here on EA TV. It's Spurs facing Everton. Well, semi-finals are usually great occasions, and that certainly won't disappoint. Must be! Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacts. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, they might be onto something. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, strong play here. Can they create something? Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is lovely goal. And with play stop, they will make the change now. But especially strong challenge. Interception to snuff out the danger. Guerrero. A chance to whip it in. And pull back. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such Coming good time. All the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. It's a weighted pass. Vigorous defending. Perhaps a chance now for Tottenham from the corner late on. Who can they pick out? Poor execution with regard to the corner. And the okay, so we're able to win the match. We just drew it. So, I mean, that's enough for me because it was a really tough match. But I'm really, really annoyed that they got that goal because... I mean, the defending is just very, 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 very hard. If you lose concentration, that's the end, like, that fast they score. So, I mean, we, we're actually able to move a bit away from Wolves. And I just hope that they didn't win their match. This is something I have never done before. It's the semi-finals of the FA Cup, and I am starting Greenwood over Said. I have absolutely no idea why, but <laughs> I just feel like I should. Again, I have no, no idea or no reason I'm doing this. I just want Greenwood to play in this match. Because, well, let's just say I'm kind of saving Zaid a little bit. I mean, he's going to come in the second half, obviously. And then Faulkner is also starting over Kamavinga. So, I mean, don't blame me if... Okay, if we lose this match, then totally blame me. Because, I mean, 
we need that attacking power but greenwood is still really really good i mean he's just the only difference between him and zaid is that he's slower and he's uh his dribbling is is, is less i mean there, there's a lot of other things but doesn't really matter anyhow if you have liked this video to this point make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys after this match yeah, and 90 minutes away from a place in the cup final it should be a classic and the match begins now with me better Alfonso Davies, Devoe, Rivera, and he's in. Oh, that was a chance to give them an early advantage. Well, they should be off to a flyer here. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's a good opportunity. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. Excellent vision. Can they slot it home? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending. Fabinho. And Mohamed Salah now. Alexander Arnold, teammate available. Mane! Oh, come on! Liverpool might be able to cash in. Sadio Mane's cross. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Is it going to be? truly dream of the final now well here's the replay and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back and then what a strike that's hit with such ferocity certainly no stopping that that's a great goal Fabian Mane could pull one back here and he does he's thrown his team a lifeline the belief is back well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment, that is. Alfonso Davies. Wistful-looking position, you've got to say. Wonderful chance! Well, that's a moment he'd like to airbrush from history. Not a good attempt. Well, lots of power, but no control whatsoever. That's a real waste. So two substitutes to come on in one go. And time for the change now. He goes short. Now we have a plethora of live matches coming up for you here on EA TV. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. Tremendous ball played through. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. So underway again at 2 all. Short corner it is. Has a go. And a goal! Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. And attempting the through ball. Real chance. There it is! The goal to make absolutely certain they now can look ahead to the final.
Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stop. Valverde. Correa. He's lost the ball. The referee's whistle. And it's... Okay, so we have beaten Liverpool again. They equalized again and we, we were out of their reach and now we are through to the FA Cup Finals. This is going to be against Spurs or Everton. I hope they get Everton because we really, really need to win that match. And Spurs just happens to be like one team that gives me the most trouble, to be honest. Alright, so this is what the table looks like. We are third and we are four points away from Wolves and I think that is six points, five points away from Spurs. And no one has a game at hand. Oh, we, we all do have a game at hand because Leicester has played one extra game. And now, this is the end of the episode. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button. We are through to the FA Cup Finals, baby. And comment on what you guys think about that whole thing. Are we going to be able to win the FA Cup Finals? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.